Hello, this is Matt from Gemini Softworks and JetForceGeminiApex.com and I'm going to continue where I left off on this tutorial. Uh, so far we have this simple level which I will play here and just simple jump over, jump on, and you win. So right away, what should we add or change to this level to make it a little better? You may have noticed that when coming over here, you can slide off and you don't stop immediately. So let's just, let's fix that. We'll jump into the event editor and this is going to be really easy. Over here, when the player is overlapping the win, we'll go over here to, we'll right click here and go movement stop. So this should make it a little a little better. A little better, I think. Alright, let's see here. So we'll go over there and it should just be good. Yep. It's not perfect though. I don't really like how we're off that so much. So let's do something else. Let's just affect the speed of the character. We'll say we'll set it to 10, and that should slow down the character enough so it's not kind of an awkward kind of, huh. Well, you know what? That's fine. That's good enough. It'll just stop like that. It'll be good and fine and good and fine. OK, right. So what, what more do we want to do with this? How about we have another frame that kind of acts as a menu? So we'll do that really simply. I'm just going to click over here to the storyboard editor, which is going to show all of our frames in our game. So I'll make a new one by clicking on the two here. And then we will drag this frame up above this one. I'm going to call this the title menu. I'm going to call the second frame level 1. Okay, now we'll jump into the title menu. And what should we have here? We should have some text, which as you remember will be a string object. String object right over there. We will call this game, I don't know, Blockman in the block world. I've always wanted to make a game like that. Imagine it being like like a Super Mario 64 kind of game. Maybe one day I'll get around to being proficient enough in Unity to make it. Uh, it's too big. We want it to appear on one line. I always pictured it appearing on one line. There we go. Now we can do a few other things to this. If you ever want dimensions to be exact, you can set them up over here. That way, you know, you need something to be you know, with the utmost precision. That's how you do it. We'll also go over here and say we'll center it. Now this alignment is relative alignment to your object. So you see here, it is not relevant to the frame space, but rather the object space. So it is in the center and center of the dimensions of the string object. Okay, so block man and block world. How are we going to do this? Well, we'll make a mouse menu, since mouse menus are so much easier to make. This will be our button. There is a button object that you can use, but not as cool and fancy. Well, kind of is, but I don't like it. So we're going to use this. Again, we'll use our victory circle with the victory color of green. And we'll put that over there. And we'll call, we'll rename this to be um, play. Then here's a, ne a neat feature you can do. If you right click, go clone object. It's right over here. Clone object. It'll just, you know, you can do this. This is the simplest way. Just leave it default and click OK. This will give you another object that's exactly the same as this one. 
so that'll make it easier for us to make something like this. Okay, so we will say this is going to be red, and this will be our quit button. We'll rename it to quit. Okay, so we'll need some text here to show up. And the text is purely cosmetic. We'll also clone this object. And we'll set it down over there, and we'll change some of the things. We'll change it back, the alignment back to top and left over here, as you can see. And we will also change the dimensions of it, or the size of it, let's say 24. Will that be good? Yes, that will be fine. Okay, and then I also want to change the size of it over here to maybe, uh, let's see here, what do I want my size to be? And you know what, we'll worry about that at another time. So I'll just change this to play, or play, and I will clone this and call it quit. All right, cool. So this is extremely simple. And I will go to the event editor, go new condition, and then go the mouse. This is under the, uh, the mouse and pointer and keyboard. Go to mouse and go user clicks on an object. You can make this left, middle, or right mouse button, a single or double click, and we will just say single click on the play button. And that over here is the storyboard controls. We will right click that and go to next frame. And that frame will take us to our level one frame because that is the next frame. You can also go to something called jump to frame and you can select any frame you have. You can even use a calculation. So say um, you have a specific number or something like that. It's just an extra feature, we won't get into that yet. Okay, and then we can go ahead and to streamline this process a little bit, you can click and drag this into a new condition like that. And double click the play object and change that to the quit object. So that way, because it's pretty much the same thing. We aren't copying this event though. We're gonna do another one. We'll go end the application. Pretty cool, huh? So now, when we run the application of Blockman and Blockworld and we click play, that'll bring us to our first frame that we can play. And we're a winner. So, we're gonna set up some more things in our next tutorial. Um, I'll just think of things on the fly, I'll make videos. When I think of something cool to do, um, we can cover more obstacles, moving platforms and stuff like that. If you can think of anything else that you'd like to see specifically, I think I could pretty much handle anything that you ask. Fairly sure. Um, when it comes to enemy AI and stuff, that I'm a little fuzzy on, but I'm pretty sure I could fake it enough to the point where it's decent you know, one way or another. So thanks for watching. This is not a conclusion to this set of tutorials, but it's kind of, until I could really think of something else to do, this will be uh, the last one in a bit. All right, so thanks for watching again, and have a good day.